Hey folks, welcome to Let's Play Baldur's Gate, part 23. Uh, we've just defeated Basilus, and uh, we're still looking for Donahir's journal. Uh, Vidlaria and Minx are in definite need of healing. I should say definitely in need of healing, so let's go ahead and heal up. Uh, Minx is still wielding, is still wielding the Cursed Blade. Plus three greatsword. Cool. Which uh, means we're gonna have to steer clear of Minsk. Um, which shouldn't be too hard as he is our primary frontline fighter. Everyone else is primarily a ranged fighter. So uh, hopefully we can work around that disadvantage. Um, everyone else is quite hurt. Uh, we've looted a number of heavy crossbows. Which, um,. Are going to be sold pretty soon here. We also got our hands on two magical items, which uh, Donna here is going to identify. First chance she gets. Um, let's see, we don't need the armor spell. Charm Person actually hasn't been working out as well as Vidlaria had, had hoped. So, uh, Sleep, Magic Missile, and what do you do, Chromatic Orb, at third level? Uh, third level, the sphere does a die 6 damage and burns the victim. Uh, suppose we can try that out. Shh, doesn't hurt to, you know, keep exploring with our spells, seeing what works and what does not work. Let's, uh, have Garrick switch to one magic missile, one color spray. And, uh, yes, sir. has his armor on, so he yes. can't cast spells, which is just too bad. But, uh, anyway, we're going to rest. And, uh, the lone cry of the wolf wakens you suddenly. Before you can properly get your bearings, a wolf pack is upon us. You point so, uh, Minsk, you charge. Everyone else, we're gonna fall You're back. Queer fellow. And, uh, Minsk has gone berserk. The the mm. He's taken a nasty hit. Hmm. Um, let's have Vidlaria cast Melf's Acid Arrow at the Dreadwolf. Dreadwolves are... No, 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 no. Bad Minx. Bad. Okay. Dreadwolves are the third most deadly wolf variation in Boulder's Gate, I believe. The uh, second dead most deadly being the Winter Wolf, and the single most deadly being the Vampiric Wolf, I believe. Anyway, let let us quick save. And let us try to rest once more. And uh successfully rested. How nice. Let's heal Minx. Twice in a row, I suppose. As he does have a number of hit points. Everyone else seems to be okay. Uh down here, why don't you identify these? Gauntlets of fumbling. Uh, a minus 2 to dex and a minus 10 to hit. These are totally useless. Let's go ahead and leave them here. Uh, Warhammer. Warhammer plus 2. It also has a bonus of doing plus 1 uh, additional electrical damage. So uh, that is quite a good Warhammer, although no one here is proficient with Warhammers. Which is just too bad, as that's a powerful weapon. Plus 2 weapon. Um, let's see... Yeah, nothing else to identify, so... I suppose we'll switch back to Magic Missile for memorization. Let's try to rest once more. And All I wish is to continue my journey. Friends await while I must suffer this tiresome dance. Does the mere mention of Drizzt attract your ilk? And Drizzt meeting back up with us after a full 24 hours have passed. I'm glad to see you again, my friend. I've recovered your companion's journal. A vicious group of gnolls had it. I do not know if it makes more sense to you than to me, but they were claiming fealty to someone they called the Old One. Here's the journal. I am most grateful to the Dritzt. Allow me to offer thee the scroll as a token of mine gratitude. Yeah, I was glad to assist fairly well. And uh, apparently Dunny here just had a scroll on her hand. On herself to give away. And uh, we, we have recovered Dinahir's journal. Let's go ahead and give that to her. 
Uh, it is a Hathran coded text. This heavy tome is filled with Dunhir's fine, spidery writing. If you glance over her shoulder, the characters seem to change shape even as you look. There is no discernible pattern, rhyme, or reason to the symbols, although they do not appear to be magical. Thavian agents would pay dearly to know the contents. So, uh, there's Dunhir's journal. She's going to keep that on her. I suppose it may also function as a spellbook, which is something Vidlaria suspects. <clears throat> and uh, Imowen has her own. Uh, <laughs> the only people who don't have it are Minx, Garrick, and Vidlaria herself. Although, she does have a typical spellbook that she keeps on hand. Nothing special, though. Anyway, we have killed Basilis. We have recovered his uh, holy symbol. We have met with Dritzt, and we have recovered Donahir's journal. I suppose now is as good as time as any to uh, return to Brier Ghost. Whatever you desire. And uh, collect our reward. So let us head back to the temple, which is a full 24 hours day of journeying. And uh, we may get attacked, we may not. And we do not, not luckily here. enough. Minx is still cursed, which is just Very too well. bad. Although, it doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. We'll uh, try to hold off on what spending the like? uh, coin, as it is quite expensive to remove curses. Anyway, let's uh, talk to Kadath Olmlayer. Tell me all about Don't it. Don't touch me! And super important. By the morning, Lord, I see you have the holy symbol of Basilis. It must have been a difficult battle to take down such a powerful man. Yours is a service that will not soon be forgotten. It is a pleasure to give you the, f the full reward for what you have worked. We have gained a thousand experience. We have lost his holy symbol. We have given it to him. And uh, we have gained five thousand gold. Which is, brings us up to a total of 8,408 gold coins. Now, uh, we also have a number of things to sell. Uh, Vidlaria and group are quite happy to uh, gain this reward. <laughs> Who wouldn't be, right? Um, we've also gained a number of levels since we first started adventuring um, purely to assist others. And not for, uh, well, not purely to assist others, to assist others and to uh, gain in our yeah. own power, as uh, it will be needed to bring Tezok down. So. Um, is it sufficient enough to bring Tezok down is the question. That's something no one, even Vidlaria, with her amazing intellect, can answer at this moment, of course. as a field test is surely needed to, uh, pin down the answer properly. Uh, everyone seems to be going the long way around, although there's no need to. Some barrel there, but not really interested in that. But Laria, of course, being the most intelligent, makes it to the destination I've given them first. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, intelligence has no effect on pathfinding folks. We're gonna enter the Thunderhammer Smithy. Actually, no, mm -hmm. we're not going to do this. We're going to the Jovial Juggler. Very well. So Vidlaria can prepare... <sighs> Sorry. Let's prepare the friend spell. What would you like? Tell me all about it. Probably screeched right there not with too. my yawn trying to talk at the same time. Very well. Let's see. And the friend spell, folks. Yeah, it's not really a useful spell, but uh, when you barter, you might as well want. use it, right? Uh, hello it there, you bartender. And uh, we're going to be resting in the royal room. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've certainly earned it. Of course. Hmm. Anyway, if that's what you let's uh, head out. Whatever you desire. Back to the Thunder Hammer Smithy. Very well. Now we're gonna need to pick up ammunition, sell our things, and uh, 
I don't think there's anything magical we need from him anymore. Tell me all about we picked up anything I can make whatever that uh, we could use. A little bit more than me competition. So, let's see. We can sell these gems and this chainmail armor. We can sell uh, these maces as uh, magic weapons are don't break or don't have a chance to break. Uh, and these heavy crossbows. Each one is worth 20 coins and we have quite a few. So it'll end up being a bit of bit of money. Um, let's see. I suppose we should we should keep this Warhammer plus two, as a uh, we may pick up another fellow adventurer and that medium shield plus one. Um, let's see. Garrick has an extra crossbow. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna need more bullets. Minsk is going to need more arrows. Although, I suppose not many more arrows, considering his current situation. Imowen's going to need many, many, many more arrows. She's kind of an arrow fiend, really. And uh, Dunahir is in need of stones. Bullets, I suppose, is the correct term. And Garrick, you're going to need some more bolts. And let's see here, folks. Um, is there anything we could possibly use? There is full plate mail, which we can now finally afford. Uh, it would be quite handy to get this from Minsk. But I uh, would be dropping most of our cash. Although, it is quite tempting. We can also afford the Light Crossbow of Speed, which would be a very handy weapon for Garrick. Um, those would be two things we could get. Quite handy to get, really. Um, but I don't think we will. At least not yet. Um let's yeah. see. I can make whatever you wish for a wee what little bit more than me competition. Speak up, speak up. Let's talk to one of the fellow smiths. Um I've heard much about your smithy. Can you tell me anything more? Um you can expect nothing but the best service from the Thunderhammer Smithy. Best armors in the land. If you need some help, don't hesitate to speak to Tayrum himself. Of course. Well, that's nice. Just ask. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and Whatever leave. Um, let's see. I believe we were yeah. able to sell gems and whatnot at the Felt's Post Inn to the barkeep. So let's head over that way. What would you like? How fun, folks, right? You know, just walking, traveling along. This is gonna be a shopping video. <laughs> At least for the most part. And, uh, Vidlaria, why don't you cast the fence spell once more? And, uh, get your charming self over to this bartender to sell these bloodstone amulets, this armor scroll, this necklace, that necklace, this ring, you know, general knickknacks. Um, no one else needs to sell anything in particular. So let's see. This Amulet of Protection, um, we could use it, and it's definitely within our budget. Um, this Composite Longbow plus one, well, uh, I would certainly buy it for Minsk, as he would definitely make use of it. He's uh, currently wielding the cursed sword, which he can't remove. So, uh, I won't buy it right now. <laughs> which I guess is just too bad. Um, everything else is a little bit too much money. Um, so we never know what we'll find. 
and uh, an amulet of protection, while well, useful, isn't of the utmost importance. I'm waiting. So, I suppose that's going to be the yes. end of our shopping trip. Let's go ahead and memorize combat ready spells. Just and, uh, we're going to rest at the Royal, Co oh, Royal Quarters, of course. And, um, I suppose we'll take a uh, experience point tally at this point. Uh, Vidlaria level 3 is a little bit way, a little bit from hitting level 4. Not gonna hit it anytime soon. Minsk, level three as well. He's a uh, let's see, a thousand and uh, one hundred experience away from level four. Not too bad. Dunny here just hit level three. She's uh, a great ways from level four. Imowen is level four, and she's a bit from level five. Garrick is also level four, and he's also a bit from level five. I suppose Minsk is the closest person to leveling up. Uh, we're all at least level 3, with our rogues being level 4. We're uh, much tougher than we were. We also have a 5th party member, unlike the first time we tried to go after Tezok. I suppose that Vidlaria and company are prepared enough to uh, try once more take on Tezok. Although... Uh, uh, although, we might not be. It's kind of risky, but there's Tell no way to know without that. trying. So, we're gonna head north, to it. and, um, well. and then into the woods from there. Actually, no, we'll just head straight into Lars Wood. It's a 16 hour journey. Don't know if we'll get attacked, and uh, apparently not. Um, if we were going to leave this place because we thought we weren't strong enough yet again, our next goal would be acquiring new spells, as uh, we have three spellcasters in the party. So what that would be greatly beneficial to us. Anyway, let's quick save and test our metal against the uh, next group, whoever they may be. Of course. Uh, most likely, bandits, as they are infesting these woods. Whatever you desire. Never know when you're gonna run into one. Not to it. Very well. Moving what quite cautiously like? at the moment. Tell me all about it. I suppose a better movement would be uh, in this formation, which will have, let's see, Vidlaria in the middle, and then Danahir and Minsk in the front, in general, and then Imowen off to the side, sort of. It'll have Minsk in front of Vidlaria at all times. I suppose we'll travel in this formation from now on. Of course. Anyway, we've explored a little bit. Let's quick save yet once more, yet again, and continue exploring. Um, we haven't run into anyone yet. This is quite eerie, actually, as uh, we did expect to encounter bandits at this point. Maybe they're lying in ambush for us. One should be uh, very suspicious at this point. And um, let's see. We've spotted an enemy, or at least Imowen has. Um, but where at? Oh, okay. A pack of wild dogs. Now, we're gonna go ahead and fight. Minsk is going to go berserk. So, the ranged attackers are, of course, gonna keep their distance from Minsk, as they have quickly learned that uh, he can't control his battle rage. Especially now. So with this last dog, they're gonna fall back just a little bit. 
when the Mixk is gonna go after them and then stop. There we are. Right. That was handled uh, quite well. Let's quick save. And continue on. Let's see, let's check our map. We've gone straight through the middle of the area with nothing more than wild dogs. Perhaps the bandits have moved to Peldvale. As we did here, they are roaming around Larswood and Peldvale in the Sharptooth Forest. So maybe they've moved their camp. This is why we're not encountering them. Let's head north to Peldvale. A another 16-hour trip. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend you. And we've been waylaid by three half ogres. Let's uh, move to the east. Whatever reform. You oh, actually, since we're in combat, Minsk, bunch, why don't you go ahead and fight the northern and half ogre? And uh, the rest of us will try to take this one out. Let's see. Midlaria, you move back. I am at your service. Garrick, why don't you pull out your magical weapon? Yep. And uh, Emowyn, you move back. As, and Donna here, you go ahead and move back too. And uh, let's see if you four can take this one out. Minx, of course, will be handling two at the same time. Because he's just that much of a badass at this point. And uh, he chunks one. How uh, satisfying that must be. Anyway, uh, we take care of that one without any kind of trouble, and the rest of us are going to help Minx scout. <clears throat> and uh, that one gets taken out without any kind of trouble, and Minx has regained his uh, mental functions, I suppose. And these half ogres typically have gems, although sometimes they have around 30 gold, 34 gold on that one, and a gem on that one. How nice. Let's continue on to Peldvale. And here we are, folks, in Peldvale. Um, this is going to be the end of part 23. Thank you for watching. And later, folks.